What is the greatest movie from the 70s? 70s, not, not one of my favorite decades, but okay, let me see. I love Nashville, uh, Robert Altman's. I think it's his greatest movie. I love a movie that says something about America, you know? And that says a lot. It's, it's kind of ingenious setting it in the world of country music. Um, all these themes popped up. It, it, it's just great. And the ending, I won't say what it is, but uh, it leaves you with this question, this this question about what happened to one of the characters and by extension you're saying what's going to happen to America it's just a great 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 ending to a great 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 movie I, I love it to death uh, <clears throat> other great movies from the 70s uh, well Annie Hall comes to mind uh, Woody Allen's still his greatest movie um, uh, the, 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 the Deer Hunter, I love The Deer Hunter. Um, I love... Uh, they Shoot Horses. Well, They Shoot Horses is actually from the 60s. It's, um, it, it just kind of squeaks into the 70s. It was released in December of 69, so it was still playing in you know the early 70s. Um, that is another movie that says a great, great deal about America. I, I love the the um, <clears throat> the setting of the of the dance marathon in 1932. Of course, to make a broader statement about the United States, the the, the depression was a, a fascinating time, of course, and it can be uh, a symbol of so so much more than just economic collapse. Uh, you got you you've got. Uh, the ballroom there, and the, uh, it's directed by Sidney Pollack, by the way, who has never done anything better, and Jane Fonda has never done anything better. Uh, the the ballroom is decorated in, in red, white, and blue banners. You've got the people out on the dance floor clinging to each other for dear life, struggling and suffering, and other people sitting comfortably there watching them. Um, I just, I just, God, I love that movie. There's a moment where, well, I'm going to give something away, and I don't, I don't care. But there's a moment where uh, Jane Fonda, who is just the, 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 the epitome of desperation throughout this, this movie. She's, she's fucking superb. Uh, where she she's, um, gets stuck for a while with red buttons as a partner, and... Uh, he's this old, well, aging, let's say, uh, sail sailor, uh, and there's a there's a moment where they have to uh, run a race around the ballroom at, on a makeshift uh, racetrack. They paint a racetrack onto the ballroom, and all the dancers have to run the, the track, and. He suffers a heart attack while they're doing this, and she's just so desperate to win. She she pulls him along. She she puts his arms around her neck, and and, and she's saying, "Walk, you son of a bitch, walk." And she winds up dragging his dead body across the finish line, and she's screaming, not unaware that he's dead, of course, and and yelling, "We made it! We made it!" I, I don't think I have ever experienced anything emotionally like that in a movie. Uh, it just says a million things at once. And it, I was, I think, 15 or 16 when I saw it. And uh, it changed my, um, my movie going experience forever I think I never looked at movies quite the same way again and I, I, I just think that's one of the greatest movies ever made um, it, it hits me in the gut it will hit you in the gut if you've never seen it and I'm sorry if I spoiled that part of it for somebody who hasn't but it was necessary to uh, convey the impact of it 